Hey gorgeous! I'm going to show you how to recreate this spring beauty look using some of my favorite cruelty-free products. Nothing else, nothing else. And also, I'm going to show you how to recreate this cute DIY succulent. As always, start with a clean face. Depuff and awaken your eyes using under eye patches or chamomile tea bags. Leave them on for a few minutes and remove. Say bye bye to your puffiness. Your skin is going to feel super refreshed. Time to prep your makeup. So, just stipple on a primer to help smooth out your skin. Try to focus around the T-zone area because this is where you're going to see a lot of shine. Keep buffing in whatever is left on the brush and let's move on to brightening up that eye area. Using a small brush, apply concealer gently around your eye area. Try to be gentle around this area because the skin around the eyes is very delicate. Use any excess product to even out dark spots and any blemishes on the skin. I tend to have a lot of redness around my nose and chin area, so I like to pack on a little more concealer around here. Majority of your skin problem is not what you put on your skin, but what you put in your body and how stressed out you are. So try your best to eat healthy and relax. The more you're stressed out, the more your skin will show it. Try using blotting papers to control oil. This is by far my favorite blotting paper brand. Apparently it's from Japan and geishas use this to touch up their makeup. Press them on anywhere to minimize shine and lightly go over them with powder to enhance the effect. Doing this helps keep your powder from looking too cakey. Also, if your boyfriend is not into makeup, but you want to tone down that shininess in pictures, try using this instead of powder. Trust me on this one. Depending on your skin type, if you have oily skin, use a powder highlighter. If you have dry skin, use a liquid or cream highlighter. Highlight your cheeks and take whatever is left on the brush down your neck and across your shoulders. This will give you that beautiful shimmery glow. Keep your brows natural by lightly filling them in and defining their shape with a pencil. Brows are very personal and they'll change as you grow, so keep experimenting. Once you have a shape you like, run the spoolie over your brows to blend the pencil out. This will give it a more natural finish. Just keep the hairs in place by sweeping them up and out. For the eyes, we're giving them a sweet pastel pop of color. Take a nude pink, and pat this all over your lower lash line and lid. This will bring a more romantic mood to your eyes. Now you can take a pastel blue color and pat this along your upper lash line, bringing the color out. Blend out the eye area with a fluffy brush to give your eyes a subtle wash of color. Try and keep it light. For the liner, take an icy blue pencil and place it around the inner corners to open up your eyes. Keep lining upwards along the inner half of your lid and into the crease like this. Add a touch right under your brow bone and blend out to highlight this area. And to finish off, just set the cream pencil with an iridescent white eyeshadow. Now, if you want to make your eyes stand out even more, take a dark eyeliner pencil and tight line your upper and lower waterline. Everyone has their favorite way to line their eyes. I prefer doing it with a brush. So with an angled liner brush, run it over the pencil and then, staying as close to the lash line as possible, sweep the brush out to create a double wing. And don't forget to line along your lower lash line as well to help balance out your eyes. From here, just curl your lashes and apply a few coats of volumizing mascara for that finishing touch. With neutral tone contour stick, define the shape of your nose, blending as you go with a small fluffy brush. This will give you that cute button nose effect. Add dimension to your face by applying some bronzer to sculpt out your face. And apply blush to add color to your cheeks. For lips, line them with a nude pink color and fill them in. Taking a baby pink matte lip cream, place it in the center of your lips and blend it out with a fluffy eyeshadow brush to keep the color from bleeding. As you can see, you have baby doll lips. Clean up the edges of your lips with a little bit of concealer on a flat synthetic brush. Perfect! Okay, so moving on to hair, I'm using this rainbow barreled curling iron to create loose, tousled waves. Seriously, this is the prettiest curling iron ever, right? You want them to look natural and undone. So wrap the hair around the barrel, wait a few seconds, and release. For nails, find a bright vibrant pink or a baby blue nail polish to match the spring colors. Finish off with perfume that smells like a fresh spring day. Personally, I love using rollerball perfume because they're super easy to travel with and you just need to dab a little along the wrist like this and gently press your wrist together. For that intimate scent, add a touch along your neckline as well. Voila, you're finished. Now, you should look like a daydream.
Bring a little nature to your world by creating your own succulents. All you need are some succulents from a garden store, a glass jar, and some dirt. Super easy, right? Depot the plants one by one into the jar and carefully fill in the extra space with some dirt. You don't want to pack them in too tight. Let them breathe. And now just add a little bit of water to keep them happy and hydrated. Make sure you give them water every two weeks. They're desert plants, so they don't need tons of water, but they do love the sunlight. So keep them by your window. All right, dreamers, good luck and stay gold. Bye.